What's up everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids and today we're going to be talking about tactical and survival pens. I have in front of me six different tactical slash survival pens. I got these all from Schrade. There are certainly other companies out there who make survival pens, tactical pens, but I got these from Schrade because they kind of, they offer a wide variety from one company as far as the different features and form when it comes to these pens. Um, the reason I like tactical or survival pens is because they have a multiple function so if you have a pen like this that's got you know a very a very sturdy end you can use it as a glass punch you could certainly use it as a coubaton and then obviously you can use it as a pen so right there you got three different functions the other thing i really like about tactical tactical or survival pens is that you can bring them almost anywhere so as long as you don't have some huge blade hidden inside a pen uh, you can get taken onto the plane it's going to be tsa approved and um, that's nice to be able to just put it in your pocket and not have to worry about, you know, you get into the line at the airport and you're like, oh no, I forgot to have my multi-tool or I forgot I got my knife on me. Now you got to go give it to somebody or give it away or mail it to yourself. You know, there's just a lot of chaos that comes with that. A pen you can carry much, pretty much, you can carry pretty much anywhere. And again, it's got a variety of different uses. So that's why I really like the idea of a, uh, of a tactical or a survival pen. So we're going to talk about these six different pens. I'll put links down below if you're interested in purchasing them. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this video and we'll learn a little bit more about what Charade has to offer. Okay, here are the six different pens. And you can see there's definitely an overlap in kind of the overall look of the pen. I mean, it's a pen. It's not going to be, you know, six feet by five feet. It's got to be a pen size. But that being said, there are some significant differences in the function and even the size. Check out the blue one and the green one compared to this orange one at the end. Definitely much bigger versus smaller. Uh, some of these are thicker versus these are thinner. So let's start by talking about this one right here. This is the SC Pen 4O and this is their survival pen. So let me show you how it basically works here. You're going to unscrew the cap. So this is threaded, which I like. Uh, there are some pens that I've used that just kind of, they just kind of click on. I just prefer that it's threaded. It just makes it uh, safer as far as this not accidentally falling off and me losing it. So you got your pen here. That is a pen. It works. Uh, you can untwist this and you will see inside here, you've got your ink cartridge. So you can replace that, which is nice. It's not like it's a proprietary, proprietary ink cartridge. So put that on. In the cap, we have a whistle. Now the whistle does work if you have it still on the pen, but it works more effectively if you take it off. And that's got a very uh, high pitch. So there's that. There's a little O-ring there. Put that back on. Now down at this end, you can take off this entire bottom section and you have a ferro rod in here. And then if you take off this, let me see if I can get the end cap off here. All right, I'm putting the different pieces of video back together. Took quite a bit of work to get this end cap off of this piece and actually I had to use a pair of pliers. Um, make sure that you also remember that it's kind of counterintuitive because it's gonna be left, twisting it left to tighten it and twisting it right to loosen it. But I used a pair of pliers, I got it loose, and now you can see you have your striker here and then you have your ferro rod here. It is coated with that black coating a lot of ferro rods come with. So I've scraped some of that off and let me show you here how you can get a spark with this. So you saw that. So now you have a fire steel, get that smoke out of the way. You have a fire steel built right into your pen. And when you want to put it back together, this end cap goes in like this. Let's see if I can get this to line up, get the threads properly done. There we go. And then this end cap goes back onto here. So I don't know a lot of other pens that have a fire steel built in, so I think that's really cool. Uh, one thing I will mention to you is that um, when you do take this end piece off here, this ferro rod can come out. Now that's probably good if you want to replace it eventually, but um, you know if you're striking it, it's slowly loosening like this. What you may want to do um, is uh, if you want to, you know, you're going to basically say, I'm going to buy this pen and when the ferro rod's done, I'm just going to get rid of it. You could put a little Loctite in there and then put it in here and then that, that'll definitely stay. I actually, on my first, uh, my first survival pen I had from Schrade like this, this unit came apart, so I just glued the whole thing together, and when I put it back in here, it actually accidentally glued this whole section together, but not a huge deal because you can actually even use the, uh, the pocket clip to strike the uh, ferro rod. It's a little bit of work to do compared to the actual striker, but you can do it. Anyhow, so that's the first one. That is a survival pen from Schrade. There's links down below. These ones have been out for a while, and um, 
for me, the, the size of the pen is a little bit bigger than what I'd like, but I tend to like a, uh, a thinner pen. But for a lot of people, this is gonna be great. And it does come in a variety of different colors. This one is brand new for 2015. This is the Schrade SC Pen 9BL, BL for blue. And uh, there's nothing fancy about this as far as you're not gonna be taking off different portions of it, or there's not a lot of extra features. It's just a solid pen push button here. So push on the end, comes out, and then goes back in. Pocket clip, it is blue, and it's made of 6061 T6 aluminum. This next one is the SC Pen BK, and relatively simple. You're gonna twist off the cap here. There's your pen, and then this just basically gets pressed on and friction will keep it in place. Now you've got it as a writing tool. I'm gonna put this back on like so. Uh, the thing that I like about this, you do have this, it's not a pointed pointed end, but it'll certainly let somebody know you mean business if you know you had to tap somebody to let them know that uh, you want them to get away. This'll, this'll do the job. One thing I really like about this, as far as thinking about using it as a self-defense tool, you know, Kubaton, that type of thing, is that this end piece. So you got, I, I, it annoys me when a tactical pen has a push button there uh, as far as if you're going to be using it as, you know, in this type of fashion, gripping it like this, because you know, you grip on it, click, click. And I'm not talking about the noise, but just the fact that you don't have just a solid purchase. You, there's movement here in your thumb. Whereas this one, you know, you get your thumb on that end piece. Now you got good control and you could certainly uh, use it effectively. Once again, unscrew that. And that's what that looks like. Next up, we have the SC Pen 6BK, and you can see on this end we do have a glass break, and you can certainly once again use that as a self-defense tool. The other main feature is a whistle integrated into the cap here, and let me actually use this for you. You can hear it's not fantastic. Um, I don't know, maybe I just got a dud one. I'll talk to Schrade about it, but compared to the, uh, the orange one, let me grab this one again and just show you the difference between what you just heard and this one. I mean, that is way louder. So I don't know what happened here. The, the way it's built looks very similar to the orange one, but this one certainly didn't make uh, nearly as much noise. So let me check with Schrade and see what the story is with that. But once again, SC Pen 6BK. Two final pens. This is the SC Pen 8BK. And twist this off. You can hear it squeaking a little bit maybe. There's an O-ring down there. And then this goes on the back section here. Now you got your pen for writing. Pocket clip, it does say patent pending and you'll probably see why in just one moment. Twist this down. You do have your glass breaker here on this end. And once again, you could use that in that type of fashion. The other thing that's unique about this is that you have a blade here. You can see it kind of glimmer in the light. Um, so the idea, line cutter, strap cutter, that type of thing. Now I haven't used any of these pens. This is just kind of an overview. I can't tell you all the rundown of the details. The thing that's cool about this is that, well, you got a, you got a blade built into the pen like that. As far as, you know, a line cutter, strap cutter, you can certainly cut paracord. Uh, the downside is it's quite small. Um, that could be an upside, I guess, too, as well. The other main thing that concerns me is that there's enough space in there that I could, you know, press, if I really pressed my finger in there, I could probably cut myself. So something to be aware of, you know, maybe if you got this, you would want to cover it up with a piece of tape or something. I don't know, but I'll talk to Schrade a little bit about that. See if they, you know, want to think about putting maybe some sort of safety cover or something on that. looks like you can, let me get that in the light, pop out these two uh, screws and replace the blade if it gets dull. But, you know, I just like the idea that they're thinking out of the box. They're not just saying, here's a tactical pen. It's made of very hard steel or very light steel. They're thinking outside the box and trying to add in some cool additional features. Once again, this is the SC Pen 8BK. Last one up here is the SC Pen 5GR, GR for green, obviously. And this is something you can use on your iPad. So basically, it's, uh, you got a stylus here. You can take this little cap off and replace that if it starts to get really, uh, really dull. The other cool thing is that when you twist this off, you also have a pen inside. And then this twists on the back here, like so. So you got a pen, you got a stylus, you know, so if you're using your iPad or some sort of tablet, you can, you can use this little O-ring there to make that nice and tight when it uh, closes up. And then you do have a glass break here on the end. I guess, you know, I've been doing this with all the pens, but I guess you could hold this like so. This is really small though. So if you really hit this against some, you know, a person or something in a self-defense situation, it's gonna feel pretty rough on the back of your, uh, the back of your, on the front of your thumb, the side of your thumb, whatever it is. 
but overall, I like the idea of stylus, pen, and then a glass break in one. And if you're looking for a unique color, certainly the green might be one of the, the ones you want to uh, check out. SC Pen 5GR. So what we've been looking at are six different tactical slash survival pens from Schrade. They do have a variety of other styles of pens and styluses, things like that over there. So you can head over to the website schrade.com and check out what they have. Um, this is just an overview of these pens. This wasn't a full review, so I didn't give you all the details and long-term use. Just want to give you a sense of what they have to offer. If you carry a tactical or survival pen, comment down below. Let's hear what you have. Let's hear what you think about it, and uh, let's get the discussion going. So thanks, as always, for checking out the videos. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids here on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. Take care.